Well, hey y'all, well, welcome back to Squatch TV. Uh, I was gonna do a box opening, and I'm still gonna do it, but the box is already open. There were so many ties and stuff holding tape and everything, uh, it took me three minutes to get through all that stuff to get to the goods, so I uh, wanted to spare the three minutes. What we're gonna do a review box opening on is the Broil King Ice Brush with three block ice tray. Royal King, here's some pictures. Oh, see what we're doing? See what we're doing? Oh, I like the little lemon idea. That's not a bad idea. See, then pick. See, you, you got it figured out already, don't you? I don't even need to keep this video going. You know what's up. So, there's your handle, right? Nice enough, sturdy enough. And then you have your three block tray that just set out like that and these are nice little rubber you know so you can push the ice out when it's done and so this is the theory so far it's a theory i don't know why it wouldn't work fill this up with water pull this out after it's froze of course this will be an ice cube and then you take the see it's got one end has this two and that goes into the front there so let me turn around here and i'll kind of so there's the two edge that goes into the front and then it snaps down onto the other side like so. And then to get it off, you just pull back on that little, that little lever there, pull back or push forward, excuse me, and then it comes off, okay? So then once it's, uh, did I get it in there? Yeah, it's in there. So once I freeze it, then there will be ice on here, right? Hot grill. I'm thinking four to 500. I haven't read the directions or anything yet, so I'll get to that, right? Like most men. Uh, hot grill and you'll have the ice there. Uh, should take care of it, right? I know, I know it seems a little gimmicky, <laughs> but I like gimmicky stuff. It's, you know, why not? And what a better way to uh, do it than do a review. So uh, if it's good, then you guys know. And if it's not so good, well, you don't have to waste your money on it. Speaking of wasting my money on it, I didn't waste anything on it because our good friends down at Bry's in Marysville, Washington, uh, donated this so I could do this review. And uh, Josh down there has been waiting patiently for me to do this review because I've had it here at the house, oh boy, I bet nine months. <laughs> He's been very patient. I've done other reviews of stuff. It's just one of those, one of the gimmicky things that that I was just putting aside, you know, I don't want to do that yet. So it's pretty easy to do. So my apologies to Josh for taking so long, but we're going to check this thing out. We're going to give it an honest review. So I'm going to fill it up with water, uh, maybe read a direction or two, maybe not. And then uh, I'll bring you back when, uh, when I show you how everything goes together. All right. Okay. So before I freeze them, I thought I'd show you this. I'm starting to figure this out. It didn't even come with any instructions. So I, I kind of thought, well, then you, you gotta not be a dummy, right? I'm working on that. See how those just pop down? They pop back up like that. Easy enough for storage or whatever, right? So that's how they ship to you. And then before you put the ice trays in, you push down on it like that and it makes a big cup. And then this just sets in there uh, make sure it sets on both edges pretty good, you know. And then it'll freeze, and you'll still be you'll have a pretty good chunk of blocked ice down there. And then the top, you know, keep the water away from the very top so that uh, you can still get your handle on, right? Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll put all those down, and I guess I might as well fill it up with water real quick to show you. It even has a fill line, and the fill line is darn near to the top. So if I don't spill anything here, that would be a miracle, right? See, it's up there. So then we just set that guy in there, just like that. And then do the same with these other two. And then you put it in the freezer once it's frozen. And I'm sure you could just run a little bit of warm water on the outside, and they'll probably pop right out. That's my guess. I'll bring you back when we're putting it together and 
I have the grill heated up to 400 or so. It says it can work on a hot or even a warm grill. So I think the, you know, obviously what we're trying to do is steam the grease and food bits and such off of the grate. Uh, and I know everybody already has their way of doing stuff, you know, wire brushes or plastic brushes or whatever. And there's lots of concerns and that's okay. You can have your concerns. I'm just trying something new. So, uh, just trying it out. Uh, it also said you add a little bit of lemon juice, right? T before you put it in the freezer and that helps work as a degreaser, the citrus. So I will be doing that as well. I'll fill those with water and then add a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice to each of them. So I'll bring you back when everything's froze, my grill's heated up and we're ready to go to work. All right. Okay, y'all, let's do this. So I got the grill, uh, I got the grill set at 450. I just pulled the, I just pulled the heads out of the freezer. And that's what it looks like, frozen up pretty good. So I'll bring you down a little bit so you can see what I got going. We're gonna have to figure out a way. Oh, well, that came out pretty easy. Part of it anyways. So I'm just, oh, there it went. So just like an ice cube, you just push on it and it ends up coming out like so, right? So then we take, we take this, the double end there. Here, I'll turn it around so you can see what's going on. That one with the double end goes there and then that's supposed to hmm I think I might have to remove a little bit of ice I think I filled them too just a hair too much here let me try pulling another one here and seeing if this works They are in there pretty good. This is good squash TV. You watch me battle a frickin' ice cube. Praise the Lord. Ooh, that one almost went in. Yeah, see, I think I need to... See how the ice is all the way up to the edge there? I need to chip some of that off. Okay, so I'll bring you back here in a second. Okay, we're back. I had to loosen quite a bit of the ice up around it, so I definitely filled it too, too far, too high. But now that I've, see, I, I just uh, got rid of all the ice that was around the plastic. So now it goes in that end and sits right in there good. So let's take it out there and see how she does on the grill. So far, uh, I can't say I'm not impressed because obviously I filled it up too high. So that's my fault so far. Let's take it out to the grill. Okay, here we go. Out at the grill. I got it. Uh, it's resting at about 450. So we'll see. We'll see how she does and how good of a view you can get. Yeah, you can see the, see how it's getting chunky in here and it's chunky up there. So let's see, let's just see what happens. It's definitely taking off. It's definitely working. I mean, actually it works pretty darn good. <laughs> oh, things cease to amaze me. This is off, I would think you'd only have to use one ice cube. So let, let me get the, so you see how it's already starting to, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there you go. It's starting to, to burn those grooves into the ice. So then it just sets, right? really working fantastic actually 
I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, can you see the tops? Yeah, I got some chunks up there. Definitely not as good on those really big chunks, but I should have knocked that off of the scraper beforehand anyway. And it is still working. It's just taking a little longer for those big chunks. And if you turn that thing kind of at an angle, you can get the insides if you got some inside stuff. It's not like we didn't think of it. Look how clean that gets that. See how I brought that shine right back to that? Yep, and that's one full ice cube. Almost, yeah. I'm done with this one. That ice cube's toast. So... What do you think? I think it worked pretty good. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the jury is still out. I mean, it worked for sure. Uh, the problems I had, so you can see how much that ice I used, I used the whole thing. So then to get that back out, you push that little tab and it comes right out. Pretty easy, right? clean right up so the biggest hiccup I had was I filled the ice tray too too much so you got to make sure that you have that the whole plastic liner here the black is clear of ice so it can snap down into your uh, brush easier but I think it worked pretty good is it gimmicky? Yeah, sure it is. You bet. It's gimmicky for sure. Uh, is it easy? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you gotta you gotta fill up your thing, and then you got and I guess if I to fill these up exact, then I got two that are already ready to go again. If I wanted to wait to fill this one back up again, I don't know why you would. I can't imagine where you'd need all three on one grill, but if, yeah, my big trailer smoker, I'd probably burn through all three if that was the case. Uh, I, th I think a plastic brush works just as good, but it did work, and it did work well. It, it brought, hell, you saw it shine up the smoker out there. Uh, that one edge and it took off big chunks it took a little bit more took off the little chunks easy enough so I will give it a pass and I'm still gonna I'm still gonna use it again and uh, but it'll be a week or so before I get it that dirty again and we'll try it out again but this has been the ice brush by broil king it's interesting I, I love companies that try to think of innovative things so I gotta give them a heads up for that, right? And add a boy for that. At least they're trying to do different things. Okay, y'all. Hey, hope y'all enjoyed this review. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you got uh, 20 bucks laying around, buy yourself that brush and play around with it. Maybe you'll like it more than I will. Uh, and the jury's still a little bit out. I'm still gonna test it a few more times. I mean, I guess the real big test would be like barbecued chicken. Uh, for a week or something. So you really got that barbecue sauce stuck on those grates. So it definitely passed. It pretty much passed the test. It worked. So I got to give it that. The Broil King Ice Brush. It's definitely a cool idea. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, share, wherever you're watching it. Uh, I've been trying to remember to put them on YouTube before I put them on Squatch TV on Facebook. So 
That's it. Hope you all are having a great weekend and you have a great Saturday evening and as always, an even better tomorrow. Squatch out.